running a 9C, Series 9C Mini Gen. We're testing it out. And as you can see, there's the voltage. Right there, we're sitting at about almost 13 volts. And I put an amp meter in the line. And it's been running about an hour now. And here's the amp meter. And we're running just a hair over 15 amps right now. Just a touch over 15. Not much, just a little. And our output right now is right at a liter and a half a minute. And here's our gas output right there, as you can see it. That's what's coming out. And here's the unit right here. It's been running approximately an hour. We'll give you a good look at it there, and we'll take a temperature on it. As you can see, this is a Series 9C model, is what we've got. And you notice a little addition. We're now using a small magnetic fan on it to cool it down. And we'll take a temperature of the bottom down here. And we'll get the camera lined up. We'll shoot the bottom. And that says 95 degrees. All right, it went up. It's at 128. And now we'll shoot the top. And we're looking at 94. And now we'll shoot the gas. That's saying 161, 162. So this temperature here might be reading right. It could be reflection from the stainless steel. But that's right on the stainless. And let's go down here and take a look. All right, well, that's about it right there. So we're looking at 96 degrees case temperature on the outside there. And get to the top, we're looking, well, it's about 96 degrees. It only drops a couple degrees, but there is a fan running on it right now. And we'll get a temperature on the outbound of the fan, which is only 66 degrees. That's the air going through it. But this is a Series 9C, just like the Series 9A and B, only this one has got a small fan connected to it, 12-volt DC fan. As you can see it right there. And it's connected into the unit. And it's screwed in. Drilled and screwed in place. Where you can see it right there. And there's the unit. And of course, as usual, this relay here is the main power relay. This is the water solenoid. And this relay down back in here, that is the water control level sensor relay. The level sensor is located right here. Here's the cathode which goes straight through. It's a single bolt pattern. Here's the fill and view port. Over here is the water in for the auto fill. And over here is the gas out. And you can see I'm holding this with my fingers and I'm not being burnt. And if you look at the hose, no condensate in there. None at all. Okay, that'll give you an idea. If we're running at 160 degrees, we're not boiling. And here's our gas output right over here. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. And that'll give you the gas output right now. And if we go on up and we follow it on up to the gauge, right here, we're running about a liter and a half. And we're doing it at almost 13 volts. And amperage-wise, We're at 15 amps. And as you notice, there is no water in the line. That line is dry all the way up. That line is dry. So we've imagined, uh, you know, we think we've solved the heat problem when you run at high amps, at least up to 15 amps, we've solved the heat problem. And this unit is using sodium bicarbonate, not potassium hydroxide, and that's the type of output there is. So there you have it. There is the new Series 9 C model right there. We'll
give you a little bit more of a look at it. You can see what it looks like. And you'll notice all the open holes on the bottom for mounting and bolting. You've got four across the bottom, one, two, same thing on the other side. And then you got on the top, you've got this one over here and that one over there so you can mount your unit because the two holes in the front are used to hold and bolt everything on, all the control relays. But that's about it. That's a Series 9C Mag Drive Mini Gen. And there you have it. So, appreciate it very much. Hope you enjoyed the movie. And take care of yourself. And bye-bye.